So IT is, is information technology, but it also is uh, a way that in technology people describe candidates for jobs. So they look for I-shaped people and T-shaped people. And it's not about your body type, but does anyone want to take a guess as to what an I-shaped person is versus a T-shaped person? I, I can see how that, I mean, that's a good one. It's not, it's not what they use, but that's a, good, that's a good kind of way of separating it. That's a good way to describe it. Anyone else? What if I gave you a hint? What if I said they represent what you know and what you can do? No? Okay. So if you're not, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, not, not quite. Um, so I'll, I'll describe this. If you're an I-shaped person, that shows how much you know about something. So you know the very basics all the way to the super advanced stuff. If you're a T-shaped person, you're really, really good at stuff. But you also branch out in different directions too. So you, you were just mentioning it, like being interested in design, being interested in art, being interested in uh, writing, being creative in other ways, right? T-shaped people, they bridge gaps. Because if you have a bunch of eyes, then guess what? They're not really able to communicate with each other. They all know their area really, really, really well, but they can't connect to other people, right? So there are people that, or there are companies that hire a bunch of eye-shaped people, but then you have coders and you have designers, but they don't know what the others are doing and they can't really get along. Whereas T-shaped people kind of bridge those gaps and help people connect. And so they typically will look for T-shaped people. The thing I'll tell you is, I've hired well over, I don't know, like 100 people, let's say. Um, and I've hired people who are juniors in their careers, they were just getting started, they either came out of college or a boot camp or high school or whatever. And I'll tell you that I think everybody is a T-shaped person. It's just that more and more, you'll see that a lot of those T-shaped people that don't show themselves as T-shaped people, it's because they've been taught to not show those other interests that they have. They it's only focus on, what's that? Because they've been taught to be too narrow? Yeah, exactly. They, they only focus on doing one thing and doing it really, really well. Mm -hmm. And so all those other aspects that they have about being creative, being a gamer, um, all those other things that are their interests or their hobbies, they devalue those, and so then they don't show how that can actually be valuable to the team. Mm -hmm. 